Hey babies, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to install a TPMS system for my motorcycle. Let's get to it. So Megan, do you know why I want to install a tire pressure monitoring system on my bike? Yes, with this system you can actually monitor your tire pressure so you can kind of know when you're going to get a flat tire before it happens, which would be very helpful. Yes, very helpful before it becomes a dangerous situation and you have issues. Mm -hmm. So before we start um, installing it, what do we have to do? I think we need to clean this bike up first. So let's get it super clean. Okay, so I think we're ready to get cleaning. Yeah, and shout out to James from Super Clean for sending us some cleaning products for our motorcycle. Yeah. All right, ready to get to unboxing? Mm -hmm. So I picked up this Psychic Rider one because one, the reviews are really good on it and it has, I guess, a lot of uh, hours before recharges that are needed and kind of put everything all together. So I'm going to it. A little charger kind of running into an issue as i already have kind of a lot of accessories here on the handlebars i don't have any room on this side to put this bracket that came with this here so it won't go there because it needs to be right there would be kind of perfect if it would go in there but if i put it here then like it doesn't fit like there's nowhere to put it there and there's no room on this side because of the heat grips and the phone mount and I thought about well what if I put it out here but then I'm kind of worried that it will get like you know the wind will blow it off or I don't know you could put it there I think it'd be an option but I think a better option is it came with this other mount with some 3m tape and we can put it right here above the key and it can be kind of right there center view which is actually pretty nice and it doesn't get in the way of the key coming out so that could work. In the future, I think I'm going to custom 3D print something and then I can mount it right here on this mirror, right there. That would be kind of neat. Maybe a future project. Future project. But for now, I'm just gonna use this 3M tape here, but I need to clean this with some isopropyl alcohol first. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing really. Okay, so we need to turn the monitor on. Press and hold for three to six seconds. Okay, now we can install the sensors. So does it say anywhere how long its battery life is? Um, it should last a month or so. Like continuously on, or do you have to? Yeah, well, that's another cool thing is these things have motion sensors in them, so it turns off on its own. That's pretty cool. So these are sensors 
that go right onto your air valve. Um, so we're going to take the cap off that's currently on there and put these on. And these sensors send the signal to the monitor system that shows us the pressure. We're going to use F for front tire. Well, it works. So why is it beeping? Uh, because we have to set the high and low pressure. So that's what it's going to do when I'm riding. It pressure gets low. Press and hold set button to set up. Front wheel high pressure high. High. Low. Pretty good. I'm going through. It's telling me right here that this is the high temperature setting or excuse me, the high pressure setting. So I'm supposed to be at 42, but I need to account for heat of the road when you're riding, that that pressure is gonna increase at the more you ride and the hotter it gets. So I need to turn it up a little bit. And I think moving it up to about 52 or so, it should be high enough. And then I'm toggling through to get to the low setting. setting and right now it's set to 29 and my tire pressure is supposed to be 42 so I'm going to increase this one. Yeah, I don't think I want to be below 38. We'll call that good. And then it'll alarm at me when I'm below 38. Okay and this is temperature of the tires, high temperature of the tires. it goes I'll put 170 I don't know how hot tires get exactly and then we want it to be PSI okay there we go we got 41 PSI in the rear so we can bring that up one PSI and then we can air up three PSI in the front since we installed the monitor. So how have you been liking it? I like it a lot. Now there's one issue that I had and that's the mounting. So the mount that we used was just a 3M tape that we found the little only flat surface that I could put it on, but I wasn't really happy with it. So we're probably gonna have to do a follow-up video on making something that's mm -hmm. better. Uh, but the mount that comes with it, it just assumes that you have a whole lot of bar space to, to put on there. And I definitely do not. So, You've added a lot onto yeah. your motorcycle in these past years. I have. Now, as far as the monitor itself, it actually is fantastic. It turns off automatically when there's no motion. Uh, the battery life is really good on it. Like I haven't even charged it and it's been like two, three weeks. Um, and I don't know, it's, it seems pretty accurate. And now I'm always able to monitor my tire pressure. So I know if I'm going to get a flat. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.